kind of messy, but yeah, I'm preparing two dishes today. I have the. Uh, I already started cooking the. The oxtail. No, it's not an oxtail. It's a, the short rib, beef ribs. I can't find the oxtail, but let's see what I did. So this is what I done. So I deglaze with brown sugar, soy sauce, and garlic on a uh, garlic pepper, and then until it's brown, and then I saute it with um, green onions, spring onions, garlic, fresh garlic, ketchup. Worcestershire sauce, ground pepper, and then I have to put that after it's well, it's tender. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna put this one here. The carrots, potatoes, red bell, and maybe some of the celery. Now I'm cooking another one, which is the uh, sautéed shrimp, you know, or sautéed vegetables with shrimp. So I'm putting a um, snap peas, this spinach, spinach, and I'm gonna put this one here, carrots okay, in red bell, and I am removing the, the shell of the shrimp. And then this one, I'm gonna have to boil it, microwave it, and make it as broth later. Yeah, the um, celery too. It's just normal sauteed shrimp. Okay, it's all done. I prefer to put this first. You know why? Because I don't wanna overcook the shrimp. And then there. Added the celery. Another little bit. I can add a little bit of the pepper. This is just me. I don't want to put the uh, shrimp first because I don't want to. I don't want it overcooked. Garlic powder still. I, I put the fresh garlic and I'm gonna wanna put a uh, another top powder gar garlic powder. And of course for the Filipino recipes we always have magic syrup even here in the US. Okay. Just a little. I'm gonna put a Worcestershire sauce. The same thing with this one. <laughs> Just a little. I'm gonna put some liquid seasoning or I might gonna add some more soy sauce later but let me see what I can do and of course I have to put some butter in here I'm gonna put the shrimp the peeled shrimp So I'm gonna put all together the because uh, I don't want you know whatever cooks. So I can put all together with that. It's a simple sauteed vegetables. So I have also have here the tomatoes, baby carrots, and the red bell. So I'm gonna put some salt. Just a little. And guys, this is how I make my shrimp shrimp broth. I'm gonna put some oil, water, you know, water. You can see water, and then I have to put it in my microwave. It. I'm gonna put some butter right there. And put in one more, uh, you know, more than one tablespoon of soy sauce. 
just for the color, you know, and the taste of course. So this is the shrimp shells. All I have to do is mash it and the broth. That's what I'm gonna have to use for my, you know, flavoring of my sauteed vegetables. Okay. It's almost done. And then I put some um, thickening of the sauce actually, some cornstarch. Then I'm gonna have to put this on top of it. You know, it's very fresh. Okay, that's maybe enough. I'm just gonna have to, you know, steam it. I'm not gonna stir it, so that should be good for now. So look, this should be good now. So that's all I wanna do. So these my sauteed vegetables, which when that's. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the side. It's gonna be overcooked already, so I don't wanna do it. It looks good. Right? Now I may, uh, this is like a Jamaican oxtail version of my short rib, you know? So I'm just gonna have to wait for this soft and tender this one right here it's kind of expensive that's like just a three pieces of pork short rib it's like fourteen dollars fourteen dollars US dollars okay so just like what I said I'm gonna put some of this one and put the, the carrots no carrots, the potatoes, and the green bell, a red bell pepper. Kind of lacking a lot of vegetables actually, but this should be fine, right? So that's it for today, and thank you for watching. And hope you guys uh, hit that subscribe button for more videos of my organic and raw cooking video. Thank you.